So before we start going in with any um, eyeshadow or blood or anything to complete the vampire look, I first applied some of my Alme Smart Shade um, Primer to just give my face a nice little thing to stick to. And then I applied some of my Maybelline Age Rewind Foundation. It's super, super like coverage and it's not going to give any type of effect to the makeup because I just want something that's going to be easy to build on and not have trouble blending. I also applied some of my Urban Decay um, eyeshadow primer to my whole entire lid and right under my eye because that's where I'm going to be putting the majority of the eyeshadow. And I also just put on a little bit of brow pomade from Anastasia Beverly Hills and a little bit of Essence Make Me Brow just to kind of set them in place. And now we're just going to get into the actual fun of this video. So let's get right to it. So I'm going to take one of my Morphe brushes, it's the Y20, and I'm going to go into the Morphe Kathleen Lights palette that she collaborated with Morphe. I'm going to take this dark black shade right here. It's very pigmented, so be careful when you're using it so you don't pick up too much. I'm just going to take a little bit, and I'm going to focus this on my whole entire lid, and then going a little bit above my natural crease line to really um, give me a dark, smoky eye. I'm going to do that on the bottom of my um, lash line as well. I'm going to go a little bit farther down. So I'm going to do that for both of my eyes. This doesn't have to be really clean or precise, but just make sure you're staying um, in the perimeters that I set. Once I get to this point, I'm going to go in with a blending brush and just clean up and help blend out these edges. Just like that, and then we're going to move on to the lower lash line. I'm going to take a little break from the eyes right now, we're going to go back and add blood to them, then add blood to my lips once we're all done, but for now I'm going to move on to my lips, I'm going to take my NYX um, eyeliner in the shade Jet Black, and I'm just going to outline my lips a little bit um, thicker than I would normally do, because I'm going to put a um, liquid lipstick in the center in a little bit, so I'm just going to outline my lips.
so now I let my lips dry and I'm just gonna start shading some black under my <laughs> underneath my lips. Now since all my eyeshadow and lipstick is done, we're gonna go into the fake blood now. So I'm gonna show you guys how I made my own fake blood at home. Then we'll get into applying it on my face. So let's get right to it. So I'm gonna take a fourth of the powdered sugar and I'm just gonna pour it into the bowl like that. Next, we're going to take about a tablespoon of any kind of cocoa powder, but make sure it's a Hershey's or chocolate cocoa powder. Now we're going to gradually pour in um, about a half cup of water just to start getting the mix more liquidy. And then stir it up and then repeat. So after mixing the chocolate powdered sugar and water together, we're gonna add a little bit of honey just to make to make the consistency more thick, and it's really gonna help um, the blood not to drip as much. The last step is just to add some red dye. Use as much as you want to create the most deepest red color or a more brownie color depending on what look you're doing. I'm going to add a lot because I'm doing a vampire look. So I just took a lot of it and just started to press it on my eye and it just drizzled down. This is what I got. I'm getting pretty happy. So I'm going to start on my lips now. Oh. 